Hello and welcome. Here are some handy tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Chromecast with Google TV. Let's get started. If you find the home screen a little too busy for your liking, you can change this to apps only view, which simplifies the display somewhat. Grab your controller and go across to the right hand side, then go to settings, select accounts and sign in, select your account, then go down to apps only mode and turn that on. Click turn on, then click the home button. You'll notice that your home screen is now a lot tidier and displays just the apps. One downside is the Google Voice Assistant doesn't work in this mode currently, hopefully they'll fix that. And when you're ready to change, just at the bottom there, it gives you a reminder of how you can get back to the typical view. If you find yourself frequently scrolling to get to an app, you may wish to change the order they're displayed in. Go to the app section along the top, then go down to your apps. Select the app you want to move. Press and hold the select button. Then you get an option to move, open or view details. Click move. You can then slide the app to the position you want. Press to confirm. We're still in move mode, so we can move across to another app. Select move and bring this one across also. Once you're completely finished, press the back button. When you scroll up and down or left and right with the remote control, it makes a popping sound. To disable this, go along to settings, select display and sound, then go down to system sounds. Turn that off. As you can see or hear, there are no sounds being emitted by the remote control. You may want to see how much storage space you have left and perhaps uninstall some apps or games. The two locations will go to the app location first. Go across to settings, scroll down to apps. Here we have a list of apps. Go down to the bottom and select see all apps. Now we have all of our applications and beneath the title is the size of the app. You can select an app you wish to uninstall. Go across to the right and go to uninstall. Click OK. That uninstalls the app. We can now go back, back again to the main settings window, then go down to system, go down to storage, and here we can see the capacity of the Chromecast. It is 4.4 gigs. We can go across to the right and we can see how much space is taken up by apps. We can scroll down and see the other categories. And at the bottom, we have the available space. If we go back up to the top for apps, we can scroll across, we can go down to see all apps. And we have the same list of apps with the same ability to uninstall from this location. If you have Bluetooth earphones such as AirPods or perhaps a Bluetooth speaker, you can connect these to your Chromecast. Go to Settings, scroll down to Remotes and Accessories, and at this point I'll put my AirPods into Discovery Mode. You can see the light flashing there. Now I'll select Pair Remote or Accessory. Searching for Accessories and it's found the AirPods. I'll select those by pressing the enter button. It says pairing. It wants to confirm, I'll say pair. And it now says paired. If I scroll down to AirPods, I have a couple of options. I have disconnect when I'm ready to disconnect. I can rename them or I can forget them. When you're in the YouTube app playing videos, they play one after another, autoplay. To turn this off, go across to the left hand side and scroll down until you get to settings. At the top you have autoplay, 
and you can just scroll along and click off. Whilst we're in YouTube, we have a few ways we can interact with videos. If we just go down to this one, for example, you can press and hold the select button and you get an option to play. You can say not interested, save to watch later, save to playlist or go to channel. If you want to rename your Chromecast, go along to settings, then scroll down to system, down to about, then device name. Click change and you'll have some preset names you can select. At the bottom you have enter custom name and you can select a custom name here. If you'd like to share your laptop display on your Chromecast, you can do so by opening up Chrome on the laptop, as I have here. Go across to the upper right, you'll see three dots, press those. Go down the list to Cast. You have an option here for sources. If you click this, you can select cast the tab, which we're on, cast the desktop, or cast a file. Let's select desktop for this example. Now select your Chromecast, and you'll see that it's presented on the television. When you want to stop casting, go back to the three dots, Go down to cast and select stop casting. If you want to factory reset your Chromecast, there are two different ways you can do this. The first way, we go to settings. Then we go down to system. Next up, select about. Then go across to factory reset. It says here factory reset. This will delete all data from your device's internal storage, including your Google account, system and app data, and settings and downloaded apps. We can select factory reset. Gives us another warning. We can say delete everything. And this will take a few minutes to reset and you'll set up again. The second way to factory reset the Chromecast is on the Chromecast itself. The Chromecast needs to be powered on, however it doesn't need to be connected to the TV. What we do is flip the Chromecast over and you'll notice a small button at the bottom. We need to press that button, the orange light will flash 10 times and then it will start resetting. So those are my top tips for your Chromecast. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have found it useful, I'd really appreciate a quick thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. Subscribe for more videos about the Chromecast and other subjects which I cover. Please stay safe and have a great day ahead.